back in November 2021, um, when you know COVID right started, a lot of the a lot of the families, a lot of the parents were asking the question, "When can I vaccinate my child?" Right? When can I vaccinate? You know, I have a nine-year-old daughter, I have a seven-year-old daughter, I have a six-year-old daughter. When is it going to happen? And finally, you know, um, back in November 2021, it said we can now vaccinate children for five and up, and you know that right there was you know something that i was actually happy about because i at the time well at the time I had a, my daughter was 7 years old and my daughter was concerned my daughter was nervous and she was asking me ma you and dad got vaccinated when am i going to get vaccinated you know and so what so what occurred is that on november 20 november in 2021 i had the city of worcester come to el samaritano and we did an amazing vaccine clinic for children five and up and we were able to promote it let people know and at that moment I brought my daughter that was seven years old and she got vaccinated for the first time. And you know, that experience for her was very, reward was very rewarding because she felt safe. She felt like, you know what, mom, I'm not gonna get COVID. And at that time, you know, when she got vaccinated, there was other parents coming in with their children. There was four, there was a group of three, a parent with three kids. There was another parent that brought her daughter to dismiss her from school. So it was a total that day we got to vaccinate 17 children. And it was beautiful because the kids were scared. There was girls, little girls crying. They didn't want to do it. And my daughter saw that she was able to comfort them and said, listen, I got the COVID vaccine. Don't worry. And it was amazing because they, we, we made the atmosphere that it was kid friendly. We had coloring books. We had Legos. We had prizes. And we were able to share, you know, that experience and to let the community know, you know what, you're going to be safe. Now that you vaccinated your child, you know, this is the first dose, but the second dose, you can come back to El Buen Samaritano and get that second dose or go to the Worcester Public Library. But you know that you are safe. So I've met, I've met a lot of community members um, in my organization, especially the black and brown community um, that were very hesitant. They were even saying to me, wow, I cannot believe you vaccinated your daughter. You don't even know what's in that vaccine, right? Because everybody was like, oh, you got Pfizer, you have, you know, Moderna, which one is it? Oh, you had the Johnson and Johnson. So there was so much mis the, the education and the awareness wasn't there in our community. But thank God, because, thank God for the city, right? Coming into the, um, to the Good Samaritan, to the Buen Samaritano, educating. And, you know, I set that example. I became that trusted messenger you know, because of the fact of me sharing my experience that my daughter, you know, it's crazy to say this, didn't grow a tail, right? Like, because, because, because you know, people were saying, oh, you know, you're gonna get sick, you know, something's gonna happen, you're gonna grow on different things in your body. It was just the education level and the, the myths and just everyone talking about this vaccine. People weren't unsure, people were afraid. Actually, I partnered with UMass and we were able to do some focus groups and we were able to do some focus groups and she was, I was able to share my daughter's story that I vaccinated other parents. I'm telling you, 2021, 2020 to 2021, there was a lot of people hesitant, you know, especially in the black and brown community. And I was able to be that trusted messenger to ensure them that you're gonna be okay and that you're gonna be safe. And that is the most important part of you know, why I partnered with the city of Worcester, why I partnered with UMass, why I partnered with all, all of us coming together so that they can meet our community where they're at, right? And the fact that I told them I was vaccinated, I took Pfizer, you know, my husband took Moderna, right? Because it was kind of like, which vaccine to take? But both of us were fine, we're great. And to this day, thank God, you know, I'm, I'm healthy, we're healthy and we're alive. and. You know, in a positive note, it's kind of like, it's scary, we're in a pandemic, but I'm thankful that I did take that, the vaccine.